Number four, two teams of movers are lowering a piano from the window of a 10th floor apartment building. The rope breaks when the piano is 30 meters above the ground. The movers on the ground alerted by the shouts of the movers above. The first notice the piano when it's 14 meters above the ground. How long do they have to get out of the way before the piano hits the ground? How long do they have to get out? Okay. 14 meters given, 30 meters given. Alright, let's just draw the apartment and let's say the hot top, top is the 10th floor and there are two people here and they're chopping from this window and they're lowering the piano and then say the rope was defect and it broke at which uh, the top the height at which it broke is 30 meter and then we have two people who want to receive it on the ground and they get alerted at when the piano is at 14 meters above the ground that means it has traveled 16 meters okay so we can solve this easier way the easier way is we find the total time and then subtract the, the time it took 16 seconds and then uh, we get the prep, uh, prep time for the people to move away. So I'm going to introduce that first, and then for the second method, I'm just going to explain how it's done. So method one is just uh, it's exclusive with time problem. So I'm going to set this to be time total, and this to be t1, and that to be t2. Okay, so. Obviously, it's going to be T1 plus T2 that make up our total time. Okay, it's a one continuous motion. So, to find this, we can find that and that, and we are really looking for that. So our goal is a T2 here, the time it takes uh, from that 14 meter above the ground. The total time, we can, uh, we can determine total time by setting up some given the initial velocity the, at which the rope, bro rope is broken is 0 meter per second and the acceleration is the negative uh, in this competition you have to use negative 10 uh, negative 10 meter per second squared and the height is 30 meter since it's a one dimensional problem I'm just going to set the uh, this to be x if it's two dimensional, I would have chosen Y instead. All right, and we have to find time and velocity final. Uh, I will introduce that in the second method. Uh, we don't really need in this method, however. So let's find the time total. So how do you find the time total? We have, to re we have to pull out the right formula. The correct formula without that doesn't deal with the uh, final velocity is this kinematic equation. Okay, the good news and the reason why I say this is easier is because this gets cancelled out. Had it been there, uh, had there been the initial velocity then uh, we would have quadratic formula and you have to use uh, either quadratic equation or the graphing. So we don't have to do that. Let's just plug it in. Okay, I'm gonna also make another distinction here. Here I set the positive 30 meter, however, uh, the reference point I'm gonna set that y equals 0. However, the initial, uh, velocity, initial position of the piano was uh, 30 meters above final is zero so when I do uh, zero the final minus initial I get zero minus 30 when you do zero minus minus 30 you get negative uh, 30 okay? 
that's kind of important because when you play with the sign here uh, sometimes you will get negative answer that's not supposed to be so or sometimes it even gives you a wrong answer so that's one challenge that many beginning physics students struggle all right so i have negative 30 that goes zero the vti a uh, vit and negative 10 i set the acceleration to be negative direction uh so negative 10 t is what we want to find okay so when you divide both sides by negative 10 you get a 3 on the left side and then on the right side uh, you can uh, actually both sides you can multiply by 2 so you get 6 equals t squared total and then you can you can square root both sides to find the pure t and that should be 2.45 seconds however there is more to it uh, obviously that's not what we are looking for so you can safely eliminate choice e now we have to find the t1 t1 find t1 it's going to use the same formula so i'm not going to rewrite it and we determine the actually let me at least rearrange it for you i know i kind of sped up here uh negative x one half a t squared we're looking for the t1 let's multiply two on both sides and then divide by a well that's what you get technically you should have plus or minus however uh, for the practical purpose we are not going to have negative time we plug in, in the negative delta x delta x is going to be negative 16 and then 2 over negative 10 okay, you have to square root that okay, you get 32 over 10 negative 32 over negative 10 so that's going to be 3.2 under the radical and you should get 1.778 second So let's define our time. So t total equals t1 plus t2. Okay, total it takes from that initial, uh, the piano's initial position till it hits the ground that corresponds to our total time. And we just found the t1. So let's find t2, which is our goal and ultimately our answer. T2 is the T total minus T1. We just found T total to be 2.45 2 seconds minus uh, 1.788 seconds, our T1. You should get 0.66 seconds. Alright, so the answer is A. The other method is you can find you can find the final position so remember you know we did not know this as well right you could use the vx squared vi squared plus uh, 2ax to find the final velocity for the frame one here the 16 meter frame however that's going to be initial from the 14 meters above so what you found in final velocity becomes initial velocity. And then you just have to use a kinematic equation uh, to, to find out time that takes uh, that takes the that the piano hits the ground. So that's another way. Um, but uh, you have quadratic equation if you do that, so it's not very friendly.